Their lifespans are of a thousand years. Their technologies are far superior. They're much more spiritually powerful. And when they want to appear through a physicality, they manifest in different type of physical forms. They've been preparing with a very strong belief for the one whom comes to deceive all nations. He is of the jinn nature and his armies are of the jinn nature. He has his agents in every religious agency, in every power and authority, in every media platform. So it's here, it's now and the only way to see through the magic is through the inner heart. In the name of God most compassionate and most merciful, we are an energy being and there are many dimensions, many levels of creation and many realities of which we don't understand. And one of those understandings in the realm of light are the unseen which are, are not unseen for those who operate with their heart, they're very much seen. And what the Western world doesn't know too much about but what Islam brought a deep ocean of realities were the jinn and the unseen creations of God and they are created from energy like electricity. They're much more spiritually powerful. Their technologies are far superior. So they move between these different realms. Their lifespan is different than ours. Their lifespans are from 1,015 to 3,000 years. So you can imagine the amount of technology that they have. And when they want to appear through a physicality, they manifest in different type of physical forms. That's their form of fashion. Their fashion is their imagination. Whatever they imagine they can appear as because that's their form of fashion. So the concept of the word alien just means something foreign to you. There could be foreign to, to many and to many Muslims it's very known so it's not an alien encounter, it's a jinn encounter. The, the jinn and spiritual beings they reside where you reside. They have homes and kingdoms on this earth in a different realm, what you call interdimensional. So they can have a home where you build your home and you didn't ask permission to build in their area. So while they're living in their home, you think it's your home and they're intersecting with you. The most of what you hear about in, in, in the news and in, in popular culture are the bad ones that are in the homes of people. They molest the people, they touch the people, they want to sleep with the people and that's why they're having all these different types of experiences. So when we watch these videos and say, oh I've been taken up to a ship, that's their life. They're in your home, they didn't take you anywhere, they're just playing with you all night long in your room. Because you know you don't wash before you sleep, you don't have your spiritual protections and that's their environment too. There's also many teachings where people have been abducted and they've been taken into their realm. 
if one of them falls in love with a particular person then takes them into their realm and then that, that's why we have all these rules you don't sleep naked because they come in touch they want to procreate they want to grab if they fall in love with someone they want to take them into their realm so there's many of these different sort of understandings epilepsy and a lot of these different sicknesses are these creatures attaching themselves to people and as a result they're shaking their body tremoring at night and the sleep paralysis so all these practices came for a reason because we have to live amongst God's creation and they are about 10 times more than us for every human there's 10 of them, for every snake there's 10 of their snakes, for every cat there's 10 of their cats and their nature is fiery nature. They're not stable beings. As a result their nations are always at war and people are getting caught between their wars and, and their characteristics. They can be burned accidentally by actions that you do at your home. So different things that you may do could burn one of their creatures, one of their you know, children and they'll take a lifelong war with the person and as a result they, that person may think they have lifelong misfortune coming to them. Well because the, that creature's life is 1500 years. So it would pass generationally to, towards a family. So you have a whole kingdom, they have a whole creation and they live amongst us and we have to just deal with them and, and to, to be more spiritual and, and, and build our spiritual energy. As Alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshallah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content inshallah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels and donate. Every bit helps. Jazakallah khair and we will return to the program. Who brought these megalith structures? You think some slaves did that with a, with a stick and a rock? But these were the <laughs> jinn entities that would show their power and their superiority. As a result they were bowed down to. That's what Qur'an says is that you took these jinns as your Lord and Saviors. Because of the superior might and power what they wanted was the, the worshipping of people and they said, oh they're aliens from a, you know, many thousands of years. They live for thousands of years, their life is 4,000 years. So these manifestations and all these things that we're seeing, that's from their reality and that's, you know, that's their existence and their power. And that's why we don't have statues because the negative forces, they shelter themselves within those statues because they're electrical beings with no shelter. And what they wanted was the, the worshipping of people. You know the energy that we have and, and the, the nefarious beings, they don't have this grace of the soul and the reality that we've been given. So they don't have an ability to get light, right? So they have to extract and, and vampirize people for their light. So we are the battery, you know, when the heart is good and, and God is sending His grace, they want that. So these electronic devices we put upon ourselves, and we all have them, we're the greater battery. So they've been preparing with a very strong belief for the, the Antichrist and that one to come. He has those whom He has installed with power and authority and they occupy very high places and remember they're, they're jinn, they're spiritual beings. So they enter into anyone's body, they occupy that person, they give dictates through their lips and through their ears and eyes. It's not something difficult for them. So they, they have their authority and they don't allow anyone that's not from their kingdom onto their platforms. They occupy all the 
of the sight and sound that they want to propagate, right? They want to propagate the song, so they choose who these people are who are going to sing and they make sure that, that that's like a, what would you call like a, a gospel for them. They want those words out to contaminate the ears of the youth and to adults and people. So those are very high positions, they're not something random and they want the hearts and minds of people. So that those are, are very strong positions that uh, shaitan has guarded and, and, and the people he has in place. They've been taking all the appropriate steps to, to take what they need to take and to secure what they want to secure for the Antichrist and that one to come. Stephen King made a movie about the stand which was the same understanding, right? That was an inspired movie that the people who knew it, they had dreams and they were going towards the devil. And the other ones, they, they know, no, that's wrong. That direction's wrong and they went completely a different direction. And then that's the calling that if somebody has a heart, God is calling and, and they can't deny it. So there's a very real power of manifesting and that's what's happening upon this earth and, and people are, are manifesting all their worst characteristics and they're bringing it into this plane. And uh, they can manifest the, the creatures, these demons and, and conjure all these different uh, types of things. So then the, when we understand how powerful the human heart is and the, the human soul is, that's why then to, to bring it towards the Divine and the Divine manifestation. It's a matter of spiritual practices and, and the, the prayers of, uh, of the heavenly kingdom that open and facilitate what God wants to, to facilitate and these messages to come out. When they decide that they're going to show themselves and physically manifest themselves, then God gives command for the saints to attack and declare war against them. And this war that they talk about it's not a physical war. The humans, they will attack each other and destroy each other because of the bad nature of, of the devils and the bad character. But what was important, this battle that's coming is from the unseen power. It will be the unseen forces that come to the aid of, of humanity. Humanity by itself is very weak and unable to to sort of survive that type of attack. So there's a lot that, that uh, Islam and uh, Sufism understand about the last days and Armageddon and it has a lot to do with the jinn nations and, and their ability to manifest or not manifest. And, and so yes, it, it's, it's a deep science for us. A Timeless Reality with Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi Guides the Reader in Meditation Connecting the heart to a guide and to daily spiritual practices to understand the effects of positive and negative energy and to progress the reader in their spiritual awakening and the soul's connection to the world of light. The Divine's Ancient Timeless Reality Order on Amazon.com are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers, as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android. Every time there was a pandemic, the prophetic understanding described when the jinns that are coming into this atmosphere, they come too close to humanity, these sicknesses start to come. When they start to approach, that human's becoming sick and that's why people are dying. Their energy is entering into this realm in, in billions because they occupy no space. The problem is that when they want to possess the human, 
they want to boost the immunity of this human so that they can come into them and overtake them and use the physicality as their means of a protection. So you'll see it in all a popular culture. So that's the energy that they thrive on and as a result that's what brings fear, that's what brings the energy, that's what brings all the bad characteristic and fear is the opposite of faith. So when a, a, a people don't practice and don't have faith that's all that these devils want is that don't have faith, have fear and as a result of fear will occupy you more because they actually thrive on fear and fear is the opposite of faith. So that's the energy that they thrive on and as a result the, the people of faith and building their faith that becomes the test of their life that if you have faith although I walk through the valley of death I fear not for I know God is with me. Well that's the time you have to have it when, when people are saying be scared, be scared and be scared. Be scared of what? If I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I'm not going to live here a thousand years anyways. But to have faith and all your spiritual practices so when these creatures start to come they can't possess you and your energy and your strength and the strength of your faith pushes that energy away. So that's the battle right now for faith and, and that's why one after another, this is not stopping, this just began. One after another things will start coming in, coming in, do this, do that, do this but that, that's not going to help anybody. What's going to help people is their spiritual practices and their faith and, and their connection with the, the Divine Kingdom. So that's why a lot of what came and the, the realities that came with Islam and the, and the teachings of the Prophet, Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, covered all of those. So it's not something foreign to our religion. We know which surahs to recite when we think we're having problems with them and when we call the call to prayer, when we call it out loud, that's also supposed to cleanse that environment. Our life is a, is a life to understand and coexist with these different creatures to scare away the bad ones and to call upon and inspire the good ones whom are pious and, and who pray and who want a home in which prays. So that's why a lot of the, the Sufi traditions, the chantings, the zikrs, all of these practices it encourages very pious spiritual beings to live amongst us. And as a result of their living amongst us, many of the bad ones will run away. But they require the home to be clean, the, the character of people to be clean, that the praying to be taking part into the home, certain creatures to sort of be away from that area. So there's all these different understandings and teachings. That's why I said it's like a science for us, it's not something that we have to guess. It's something that we live and when the shaykhs go into seclusion and they do 40 day seclusions in which they're isolated, they're given certain things to recite and their teachers are sort of spiritually watching over them, that realm begins to open by the grace of God and begins to teach them. So it's not again a philosophy, for them it's a reality and as a result they can guide people on what to wear, what to recite and, and how to approach this. God's grace and, and majesty is to warn all His creation, He loves them. He created all creation with love but in every tradition I, I believe there has to be a warning for the days of difficulty and, and, and days of bad character and deceit. So on the drinks that people drink it says spirits, you can't say I didn't know. And on the cigarettes it gives you a precaution that you're going to die from it. You can't say, I didn't know. And then he puts it in, in modern movies. But the most important is, is this word deceit. The concept of Facebook and Instagram, people making profiles that are not them, that are not their clothes, that are not their cars and that's a manifestation of deceit. The children now are suffering as a result of this de deception, right? They just went after all these uh, social platforms and look at children today. If they watch TikTok their whole life is a deception. 
They don't want to get a job because they think I'll be a YouTuber. Then I don't want to go to school. I, I, I don't have a car like this. Ten people that have these cars, I don't have a body like their body. I don't have cars like they have. I don't have money like they have. And you found out later they don't have it either because they've been posting lies. But, but what it did was then put the influence onto people and corrupt the minds of the youth that now don't even want to get jobs. They have no interest in trying to, to exceed because they, they won't get there. And that's all that the devil wanted and that's all the negative force wanted was just, you know, deception, deception. And everything around us is, is a deception in which uh, Sufism comes to teach is that you have to teach in truth. You have to talk about the truth. You have to raise your children in truth and, and not one deception to another deception. And then it becomes a society just based on deceiving each other. And that's, that's where we're at now. And this whole world now is sort of manifesting with all these deceits. So it's here, it's now. It's a matter of how we're going to see through the deceit. And the only way to see through the magic is through the inner heart. And as soon as you meditate and contemplate and build that ability, you'll see through your heart. So they don't train us to see through the eyes because the eyes only see the deceit of, you know, whatever is being played. And they don't teach you to, to you know, hear only what you're, you have. There's an inner hearing. So when I meditate, I have to connect with an inner voice guiding me on my consciousness of, of right and wrong. And I have an inner sight. But if I use only my outer sight all day long, just look, 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 look. Why does he want the, these people to have so many tens of thousands of uh, images on TikTok coming to their eyes? Well, because the eyes are the window to the soul. If you're trying to meditate and all day long seeing these very, very negative images from the eyes and you're trying to meditate and keep your heart clean, it can never be clean because the eyes are distorting and the eyes are, the, the heart is like a hard drive. So everything the eyes are bringing in, it's, it's the negative beings and negative energies. They just want to crash the hard drive and, and people not to achieve the light that they have to achieve. But when somebody begins to meditate and contemplate and clean their heart, they can see through their heart and they see what, what needs to be seen and they'll have the clarity through difficult and dark times, they'll have clarity through their heart and they'll be able to hear. Although all the lies and deceit that you're hearing everywhere, they'll hear with an inner hearing of their consciousness, all of their sort of controls. So there is a spiritual station being broadcasted from the heavens, but do we have the ears to hear it and the eyes to see it? And God is giving us an opportunity is to build the light. So on one side you say the COVID was bad, from another side uh, it was an awakening. You know to go into your room for 30 days and 40 days is by the grace of God uh, a gift. Either you're going to go to your grave at 100 miles an hour and just you know you die and you die in a state of heedlessness or God slows you down and says, look what is your life all about? This company that you're you're loyal to, are you, you really, that's going to be your whole life and, and when they slow down and don't have money, they fire you. So there has to be a greater purpose to my, my existence and I'm going to meditate, I'm going to sort of read things and, and try to find some inner peace and virtue and, and how to build my soul. So yes, that's why then many people came towards spiritual paths. We had no slowdown during COVID, we actually were much more busier. All of our online platforms were super busy. And that's when we know it's by the grace of God. That's a light during a very dark, dark time. So I think it's an opening for spiritual paths and, and for people to come towards spiritual paths that you have to do something, you have to have a balanced life in which you take care of your soul, your heart, and then your physicality, it, it all falls into place. But to live a physical life completely, uh, that's uh, for people who are now in, in a state of panic with all the difficulties and, and, and you know, all, all of the hardship that's being faced. 
So I think it is a, is a great spiritual awakening as a result of all of these difficulties that have come upon the earth. And those that passed away, then God reward them and, and give them uh, the paradises and take away difficulties for them. So nothing is, is wasted in God's way. Those who passed away, there's not a waste for them, it's, it's a gift towards the heavens. Everybody has to go. Just uh, how are we going to live our life on this earth? to build our spiritual ability and our spiritual understandings by the grace of God inshaAllah. Illa sharaf al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi wa ashabi kiram wa ala mashayikina fi tariqatan ashbandiyyata al-Aliyya wa sayra wa saddatina wa sidiqina al-Fatiha. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. As well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.